hello guys you are welcome to the second or continuation of the previous video where we look at how to set up your uh, inter server and thank you if you have used the affiliate link and i really see or if you are just watching this video for the first time there's an affiliate link that will take you to this site it's not going to add anybody to your cost or thereabouts it's just going to be referring you to this site so the first thing is that you are going to set up your hosting which i've done cover step by step in the previous video please the link will be available somewhere there and also in the description watch that video register your domain uh register set up your hosting and you are going to receive a login details to your c panel from uh inter server now when you get to your c panel the, this is how a c panel looks like whether you are using inter server or any other c panel is a third party solution and this is their interface okay so server providers register third party solution because we the users can work with that third party solution then there are other solutions outside cpanel that are also good that will get you your easy click and you know drag and drop solution in order for you to effectively manage your server okay without this cpanel then we should be looking at command line <laughs> and that is very, very interesting mind you but that's not for us so the first thing you want to do is to log into your c panel please note this uh your inter server has uh its own dashboard okay so inter server has dashboard like in my own case now i can actually click login here okay i can click login here and i would assess the dashboard of inter server meaning that you can create as much websites and you can host within inter server that is on inter server meanwhile if you have been given the control details to a single site like in this case this is clarosestate.com okay you can see the domain here claros estate so inter server has given me the detail to log in into a, the server you know the server space given to me uh from inter server to host claros estate so the first thing you want to do immediately you have that access in your email you are going to receive that information in your email you log in into your control panel okay and you will first of all have to make sure you verify your security come to your security and install ssl now because i have installed it already that is why you are not going to see that application here uh, but it's going to have ssl lts and you just need to click on uh, that install and you are going to just install like now i can also click on that and i if i want to i can click on any of this i can just say auto roll auto ssl is going to run it and it's going to install on those and it's going to validate all these are already installed and valid so i don't need to do that the first thing you want to do is to set up your ssl which means socket secure uh, secure socket layer okay immediately you've done that the next thing you want to do okay of course you can create an email account which will be a customized email account so the second thing you want to do uh, the first one is set up uh set up ssl the second one is email email account so you want to create an email account so the first thing you want to come to email you can click here and just type email and uh, you will see emails here so you want to come here and just click accounts okay when you click accounts it's going to go to the back end and you will see all the accounts you can create you can just uh click on create click on create and uh, you create a new account this is the domain if you have more than one domain okay which is another topic how to add on some domain you can select the domain and you create the password you use the username now the username will not be at your domain.com probably i want to say uh, support okay at your domain.com you give your password you give a space and just click on create so the first the second thing is to create 
the email so the third thing is to uh, install um, the third thing is to install WordPress that is if you do not if you are using CMS solution so the third step is to install WordPress now what do you mean by that you just need to uh, come to your account okay you come to your account and as uh, you scroll to the bottom you can see wordpress manager here you can click on this or you can just come to softwares and you can see softaculous wordpress you can see softaculous installer so all these are free tools that you can use to create a, uh, your solution your web solution and please note if you are a programmer like I'm doing a guide on my website now on my YouTube channel rather where I give step-by-step -step guide to how to build your website and if you have built your website already offline you want to migrate it you want to move it online you want to first of all check your file manager and create FTP accounts which means that file transfer protocol and that enables you to uh, move your content offline onto your server because everything will not be available in your file manager and uh, you just need to create an FTP account and if you do that you, you just once you create your login details and what have you and you go to uh, probably FileZilla or any of these uh, protocol uh, manager FTP managers FileZilla is what I recommend mind you so you go to FileZilla you just log in with this and you have access to moving your content offline onto online if you would like to, if you would like to learn about that specifically put in the comments I'll do a video uh, to explain that okay but if you are not doing that you can easily uh, just come to one click installer like any of these you can use wordpress by softaculous you can use softaculous app either ways if you should click softaculous app okay it's going to do the same thing even if you click softaculous manager now you can see wordpress is here there are lots of tools with that you can just one click just at a click like this you can install uh that so what you need to do is just to click on install wordpress or install joomla or any of these uh, tools but then we are looking at WordPress you click on install WordPress and the next thing you want to do is to make sure that you select the version this would also be automatically done for you select the version of WordPress that you want to install and you select the URL now since you have done your SSL certificates you will want to select the secure layer here either this secure one uh, HTTPS that uh, slash slash or HTTPS just make sure that you select this uh, this to since you have done your SSL certificate and of course you are going to select the domain now I have only Clarence estate on this uh, account so I'm not going to see I'm not using any other domain okay then of course by default you will see WP here you remove that WP now if you should install into this wp it means it's going to install into this directory and it's not going to install into this domain okay but into the directory so you remove that one you remove the wp here and uh, of course if you want to create directory you can also add and of after that you have to give the username admin username to log on to your uh now we now have uh inter server as its own dashboard now C panel as his own as his own dashboard. Okay. Now we now want to set up WordPress. WordPress will also have his own dashboard. Okay. Now what does that imply? It implies that if you are accessing WordPress, then you will log in into the WordPress dashboard by the account that you have created. You are the one that will create that account at this stage you have the authority to create the account at this stage however if you want to log into your cpanel dashboard then you have to access the uh, login details sent to you by inter server 
okay you have to access the login details it sent to you by inter server however also if you want to access your inter server dashboard then you just go to your inter server account and you enter your email account details here and you'll be able to log in now you can see that there are three uh what's it called levels so you have to know the difference so that you know what are you working on and what login details will you need to have so at this stage you have to enter your uh, admin your wordpress admin username and password and uh, you you just come to the bottom here and click install immediately you click install you are it's within a very short time within a very short time it's going to install your wordpress for you and if you then go to claros estate slash uh wp uh dash admin you will be able to log on to the back end of your wordpress that is your dashboard of your wordpress and that is important okay you can see you'll be able to log into your dashboard and from here you can then move on to working on your wordpress and that is another topic for another day so if you have found some values from this explanation kindly click the subscribe button and uh, be a part of my community dm me if you need any support for my services uh, I, I wish you all the best thank you bye bye